Hey everyone! So if you can hear my voice is a bit dodgy, just bear with me. Um, I've been ill and my voice completely went, so I'm a bit behind in all my boxes, but I'm catching up. Today we are unboxing the Z box, which the theme was The Force or something like that. It's basically a Star Wars box. A little bit of a story behind this. Z-Box have been kind of naughty. It's a rolling subscription now. So after I ordered the last box, I emailed to cancel and on the 24th of October, they replied to me saying they've requested the cancellation. I won't get charged for the next box. I won't receive the next box. Then on the 5th of November, well a couple of days before that because it takes like one or two days to get a response, I checked again because it was still showing as active in my Zavi like account home page thing and they were like, yep, yeah, we've requested the cancellation. Yeah, lo and behold, 5th of December, I think it was, I got charged 19.99, and then I was promised a refund and they promised me I wouldn't get the box and that I'd get the refund and then I got the box. One person said that they would process the refund as soon as I took this to my local Collect Plus place and got like the confirmation that I'd been posted or something and then someone else who works for Zavi told me I'd get the refund once they've received the box. So yeah, I'm not sending it back to get the refund because I have zero trust in anything they say right now. I wasn't sure if to just to unbox this or not and do the review but you guys deserve to know if a company is doing this because it's not just me this has happened to, it's happened to other people and other YouTubers. Basically if you sign up for this box you might not be able to cancel it. So I have taken all my card details off of Zavi's website now, off the Zbox section. Actually, yeah, I think it's just my account section. I've taken my card details off there because zero trust. So yeah, that's my little story. Hope you found it interesting. <laughs> okay, so it's called The Force or something, I think. Obviously out in time for the Star Wars film last few days ago now. I know what's in here. <laughs> Ta-da! Because I didn't think I was getting the box, so I watched an unboxing and first up we have a R2D2 desktop vacuum. I think, was it the Moonwolf? I watched your unboxing, didn't I? I think he plugged it in and it, it doesn't move by itself and it's actually quite noisy, but yeah, so that's that. We also got a BB-8 t-shirt. It doesn't feel like the best quality t-shirt. If the shirt was still white, you know, and that was kind of in colour and it would just look so much better. We've also got a a is that A5? A5 print. There you go. It's in a plastic thing, that's why there's a bit of glare. Comic. Vader. Uh, where is it? Number one variant cover. We got a film cell, which is pretty cool. And the one I got is... What did the, oh, it's Luke and Yoda. Yoda. Can you see it? Yeah, he does on his back. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. I haven't actually ever had a film cell thing before. And then lastly, we got some Star Wars decals for use with laptops, smartphones, and tablets. And then we got the booklet, whoops, the booklet, where you got the fourth and then the fourth. So like, that side, that side, obviously. So to recap, we got the R2-D2 desktop vacuum, the BB-8 t-shirt, the Vader comic, the Kylo Ren poster, the film cell, what's left? Oh, and the decals. So yeah, I'm gonna be giving away some of these things. I'm gonna be selling the rest of them probably. As far as my situation with Zbox goes, I have zero trust in them now as a company and as far as I'm concerned, this has still not been rectified. <laughs> they haven't really said sorry. Like at least five times they lied to me. It's just, so there's that. And then next month's theme is Blockbuster. So that looks like a little bit of Mad Max. Obviously I won't be getting that yet. Thank you all so so much for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya!